morning class welcome to our little shop today we're taking a look at this uh, Fender supersonic customer brought in and said uh, he didn't think he had too much of a problem it kind of quit and started making funny noises it happened all at once so he didn't think it was anything major he'd had it retubed so we're going to check into that too but the problem is the minute I turned it on I heard the problem Let's check this out. I'm going to warn you. It's nasty. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Well. Since I have my own way of troubleshooting things. For less than about 15 minutes in this. I figured out the problems were. Right up here. Right here is our little problem. And again, what we have is one of the Fender amps with failed L noise capacitors in it. Now, right now, this one's what's causing a problem. Wonder how I know? I took it out and put another one in. <laughs> I just put this back to show you. So we've got this nasty oscillation problem. I'm going to recommend to the customer he change every one of these caps in his amp. They're all the same age. We've already had one fail. Can't wait to see how long it takes the rest of them to happen. And since they will fit in this amplifier, I will be changing these to F and T's if the customer will allow it. So I'm going to give him a call and see what we've got going here. And just to show you how I verified this, I have an F&T tacked in. I've removed the old cap. You never tack one across an old cap. So anyway, I've tacked this one in to see how things work. Look at that. Nothing. No more howling. Okay, that verifies it. And like I said, I would already done this previously, so I'm just catching you up. So I'm going to give this owner a call. All right. Well, we've been given the go-ahead. So we'll be changing a few caps here. We're going to change the bias cap down here as well. We're going to change all of our preamp supply capacitors and all of our main supply capacitors. That should keep him safe there for a while. He said this is about a 2008 model amplifier, so. He's got along pretty well here at the old caps. I say we're going to be cleaning his control stuff in the front here too. But we're going to go one step at a time. Let's get these caps in. We're going to be doing a lot of um, cutting silicon seal, unsoldering caps, regluing, and resoldering. So I'm going to get with it. Alright. Well, it's been a couple hours. And I thought I'd get uh, back to you and let you know what's happened here. It's pretty obvious. You can see we've changed all the capacitors here. Including the bias cap up here. And all the main filters here. You can also see where I have dated it. So that people know when it was recapped last. Took his front board out, cleaned all the pots, did some uh, lead dressing up here on the preamp. I was going to do this down here, but Fender really missed a boat on this one, and I'm not going to spend an hour unsoldering heater leads and rerouting stuff down here. 
changing a preamp tube and moving some stuff around up here actually quieted the front down quite a bit. He had mentioned he was having problems with the foot switch. They would only switch channels when he had the effects loop on. Well, that turned out to be a switching diode for the effects loop. Got that taken care of as well. I said he's biased. They changed the tubes and uh, never knew to change the bias or to fix the bias or how to. Clean some jacks and stuff here too. But uh, all in all, we put this together. A lot of people think a lot of times that uh, filter caps will cause mainly humming problems. They'll cause all kinds of oscillations, whistles, weird stuff. There's probably less than a half hour of troubleshooting in this amp altogether. The rest of it was spent actually executing it. <laughs> so, a lot of uh, PC board stuff to have to deal with. But anyway we got it taken care of. So it's up and running and ready to go. Uh, just thought I'd show you that before I buckled it back up here. Just another case of the uh, cheaper import capacitors failing. This is roughly an amplifier from 2005. So I'm actually surprised that uh, you got this far with it. So, Okay, there you go. So like I say, one tube, the very first preamp tube we changed. Got a handful of uh, unnoised capacitors here. I might just check them to see what we got before I throw them away. And one shorted diode out of the foot switch. So, there you go. Here's another thing about these capacitors. Um, I've checked them all since I took them out. Like I say, I'm convinced that this is a little time bomb. Most of them are still reading pretty good. There's uh, there's one of the 22s. I say everything else reads pretty well, but our little problem child that is not 22. <laughs> so that's what was causing our problem. But anyway, like I say, uh, my philosophy is all these caps are the same age. They've been in the same heat, same conditions. It's just a matter of time. So, there again, here's the bad one. Here's a good one. Bad. Good. All right. We've got it back together. <laughs> there. All these switches work. Foot switch works properly now. Just one little diode shorted. So, there you go. Another Fender Supersonic. New caps, one new preamp tube, and full of debris. Let's see. Handful of debris. <laughs> so, until next time, play nice. I'll see you later.